Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to tape an inside drywall corner with paper tape. Okay, so I'm going to tape just from about here to about here. I think that's about all the camera will show. Okay, so the first thing is your drywall compound. You want to use either an all-purpose or a compound formulated for drywall taping. This is the kind of consistency that you want. It's actually rather thin. You want it thinner the better for the inside corners. Too thick and you're just going to have problems. Um, that said, about thinness, you could go too thin. So go as thin as you can before it just starts dripping and it's hard to manage. I can, I can manage about this. Okay, so the most important thing about taping an inside corner is getting a consistent coat of mud or drywall compound. I'm just going to call it mud. If you have any area where you don't have a consistent coat, where you can see the drywall board behind, you're probably going to get a bubble there. Okay, so here's what I do. I start on one side and I angle the knife like that and I run the knife down. So notice that my knife is completely parallel with the wall. It's not, it's not like this, it's not like that. It's just, it's, it's flat with the wall. And that's how you're going to get the proper coat. So, you do, do one side like that. Then, do the other side. Okay, so now we have the mud where we want it. Now we want to check and make sure that there's no spots that could cause a bubble. So we're just going to kind of fill in any gaps. Just checking for, checking for anything like that. Okay, so now I'm satisfied that that's a good consistent coat. I don't see any spots that could potentially become a bubble. So now, now I'm going to put the tape on. Okay, so I'm using paper tape. Paper tape is the tape to use for, for professional drywall finishing or even a, for a do-it-yourselfer. You want to use paper tape, never the fiber tape. Fiber tape is just good for patches and that sort of thing. And especially don't use fiber tape on an inside corner. You'll make a real mess. Okay, so the important thing about paper tape is to look for that crease fold. So the paper tape either wants to fold, it so the paper tape wants to fold one way. You'll notice that it's made in the factory to do that. So I've, I've noticed that it'll fold this way and it won't fold, it doesn't really want to fold that way very well. So once you identify the area that it wants to fold, it's the outside fold that goes to the inside of the corner. So what I do is I measure the length that I need and then I cut it and then I fold it. When taping by hand, it's important to fold it before you put it in the corner. This will make, this will make it so much easier. Get a nice fold and then put it in. Okay, so next step is to try to embed the paper into the wall. So you kind of just, this is going to be messy. Like if you're taping drywall, expect to get messy. This is not something you can do and stay clean. Like look at my hands already. It washes off with water. It's, it's not going to hurt you. So put your hands in there and just push, push it in like that. So that's about all you need to do. Just one pass with your hands down and have a pail of water nearby so you can just wash your hands off or a cloth or something like that. Next, take your knife. I'm using a five inch knife and just lightly take the compound off. Be careful that you're not pushing too hard into the apex of the corner or you could tear it. 
So it's just, it's just light passes. Several strokes on each side to get it right. Okay, so that should do it. So I'm gonna check and make sure that my tape is not sitting too high off the wall. So I'm gonna do, how I do that is I put the knife like, like this, and I just wanna check and make sure it's, it's flush and flat. I don't wanna see light coming through the, between the knife and the wall, because that would tell me that I haven't wiped my tape enough. So I'm gonna check that side. That's good. And, one thing is make sure you don't push too hard on the tape because you do want a little bit of mud behind there and that's going to keep it glued to the wall. So you can kind of, by experimenting, you can kind of check and make sure that there's still some mud left behind, but you don't have like an excessive amount that's causing the tape to sit a lot higher than the wall because you don't want that either. That's going to make it really hard to coat and it just could make your, make your corner tape visible after you paint, so. So that's it. Unfortunately, there's no fast way of doing corner tapes by hand. But if you're a do-it-yourself or whatever, you likely don't have a huge project, so you do this method and you can make your way through any small or even just a medium job like a you know a bedroom or a bathroom without without too much trouble so okay so i hope you found that helpful